moving so much, it's hard to uh, not get an unblocked man. Well, one of the basic points of the 4-3 stunt is to keep everybody off the middle linebacker. That's why Jack Lambert was so successful at Pittsburgh, and that's why Shane Buller makes a lot of tackles here at Michigan State. Third and one from the 44-yard line. Mich uh, Georgia Tech only three out of ten on these conversions. Let's see if they get it. Yes, and more. He may go. 29 is Malcolm King. Needs a block. No, out of bounds at the one half foot line. Todd Crum, 35, got him. He's he's inches from the goal line. 55 yard pop off the left side, Bob. And he broke a tackle. This is just sensational running by Malcolm King, the sophomore from America's Georgia. Here he goes off the left side. You get standoff blocking, he gets under, breaks a tackle right here. He twists out and he's gone down the left sidelines. And he's going to be pushed out inside the one yard line. He's getting a little bit slow here. He's slowing up a little bit. <laughs> he's a 5'9, 200 pound fullback. First and goal, inches away. Tech trailing by seven, seven nothing. Rampley. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. We almost have ourselves a Texas standoff here with the extra point coming. Tim Moore didn't like that call. He was right there, and I'll tell you what, it was real close. Rampley and Moore, watch this. Let's see if he got in. There's the ball. Well, we can't see the goal line there. The uh, referee over here, 42, is right in the way. Can't see the ball. They've got a better view. We'll take their word for it. You see on the left side, that's Moore with Rampley. Tim Moore grabbed him from behind and hauled him back. But the official said he broke the plane of the goal line. It is 7-6 point after attempt here, coming up from David Bell, number 18. It's good with 11-14 to go in the third quarter. We've got ourselves a tie ball game in the All-American Bowl. Michigan State 7, the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech 7. Chabaki off the left side. John Thomas is the left guard. He comes down, handoff. John Ivermeyer, and then the tight end gets a block. And now watch Malcolm King break a couple of tackles, and he's off to the races. He gets knocked out inside the one yard line. Who was it missed the tackle there, Tim? Could you see who it was? It looked like Al Tabelli and Anthony Bell were both there. They kind of neutralized each other's charges, and King kept his feet and scooted down.